The question is that motion 2895 in the name of Hamza Youssef on transvaginal mesh removal cost reimbursement Scotland bill be agreed and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on motion 2895 in the name of Hamza Youssef is yes 120, no 0. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed to and the Transvaginal Mesh Removal Cost Reimbursement Scotland Bill is passed. The final question is that motion 2934 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on committee membership be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. That concludes decision time and we'll now move on to members' business. Oh, point of order, Emma Harper. Thank you, President Officer. I wish to make a point of order in relation to 7.3.2 and 7.4.7 of the MSP Code of Conduct as it refers to members' conduct in committees. I seek the presiding officer advice on a situation which has occurred in which Sandesh Kalhani MSP has misrepresented in the press the intent of the committee's proposed inquiry into alternative pathways and made comment in the media which has promulgated misinformation, undermined the committee's work and disrespected the convener and other colleagues. Yesterday, Dr Gulhani gave comment to a newspaper which appears to uphold a false intention of an inquiry agreed by all colleagues across parties into the availability, capacity and public uptake of alternative health pathways in community settings. An agreed press release went out from the committee quoting the convener. A newspaper has decided to willfully misinterpret this intent and has reported it as the government wanting to curtail access to general practitioners and specifically our convener has been cited as wishing this result. As the presiding officer understands, as most members of this chamber understand, committee inquiries and scrutiny is not government work. It is not government policy design and the comments of any convener are not representative of any party or government position. I am certain that all committee conveners pride themselves in upholding this important standard. By failing to challenge this false assertion of our committee's work, and in fact upholding the false assertion on our inquiry being an SNP policy move, it is my belief that Dr Gulhani has undermined the committee's work, falsely preempted any committee recommendations, and deviated from an agreed committee purpose with intent with regard to this inquiry. Presiding officer, as a result of Dr. Kalhani's actions, several of, of my colleagues have uh, 
or several of his colleagues have repeated the false assertions online, which I believe has been the cause of targeted abuse, and phone calls to constituency offices, including mine and, I believe, the conveners. I would be grateful for the presiding officer's guidance on how this deviation from the MSP's code of conduct can be addressed. Uh, addressed. Thank you. Thank you. I, I thank the member. However, the matter that the member raises is not a point of order, and in terms of the code of conduct, conduct at committees is in the first instance a matter for the convener of the relevant committee. If a member wishes to raise a concern under the Code of Conduct, then the Code of Conduct sets out how to do that. We will now move on to members' business, and I would ask members who are leaving the chamber to do so quietly.